Hey everyone, it's the final round and my name is Jordan and sorry that this video is coming out a little bit late. I'm not feeling too well, but I still did some research for you guys and, and found some picks for you guys uh, for the day. Uh, yesterday we went 3-0, so uh, that, that was a good day. I hope a, a lot of you made some money off of those picks. Um, for this episode, you'll see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There will be a link in the description for a seven day free trial. So this episode will be powered by Outlier. So as always, I'll be using Outlier to find statistical advantages uh, on the lines that we have and also match them up with good, good matchups or decent matchups and uh, try to make the best plays possible. And the first one that I found is Clint Capella over eight and a half rebounds. His hit rate on the season for this is 67% and he's gone over this four out of the last five games. And over the last six games against the Milwaukee Bucks, he's gone over this rebounds mark. So um, he tends to do well against uh, Brook Lopez uh, and the Milwaukee Bucks uh, with getting rebounds. And second pick is uh, Jabari Smith Jr. Uh, found this line to be a, a little bit low compared to what he's been doing. Um, he's hit this in six straight games and uh, he's got a 69% hit rate on the year. So he's gone over this in four out of the last five times against the Lakers. And the Lakers are giving up the 15th most points to the point guard position. So right there in the middle and uh, this 12 and a half mark, he's just been hitting it. He's on fire. Uh, so a good spot here for Jabari Smith Jr. And also if you want to look at it, you can look at his three points made at 1.5, also 69% hit rate and he's gone over this in four straight against the Lakers and the Lakers give up the third most uh, three-pointers made to the power four position so two different options there for you for uh, Jabari Smith Jr. and if you could please like the video and if you haven't please subscribe to the channel and if you have a little bit of extra time could you leave a comment for the algorithm you could say anything and it tells YouTube to get that video out there to more people and thank you to the people who do comment my third pick is gonna be another three-pointers prop it's gonna be Cade Cunningham over one and a half three pointers made he's gone over this in seven straight games with a 68 percent hit rate on the year he's averaging 5.6 attempts over the last five games and he's shooting 43 percent and he's going up against the cavaliers who this year haven't been too great against the point guard position uh, and they're giving up the 13th most three pointers to the point guard position so a good spot here for him to just you know chuck up some more threes and hopefully get some opportunities for some wide open threes and uh, all we need is two of them from him. And my fourth pick, I'm going back to the Rockets. Uh, I like Fred Van Fleet over 13 and a half rebounds plus assist. I took this a couple games ago for him and he did really well. Um, he's gone over this in five out of the last six games. Uh, he's passing the ball a lot better getting, uh, and getting just enough rebounds to either make this uh, rebounds plus assist worth it or go over it. So he's hit this 60% of the time this year, and uh, he's gone over this two out of two times against the Lakers this season. And the Lakers are giving up the 19th most rebounds to the point guard position, so I know that's a little tough, uh, but he's still hitting this against the Lakers. And they're giving up the fourth most assist to the point guard position. Hopefully Fred Van Fleet can go three for three against the Lakers on the year. Uh, and uh, I'd like to shout out some of my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, and Parlay Play. Use promo code FINAROUND11, no matter your first deposit up to $100 and there'll be links in the description that'll take you straight there with the promo codes uh, so check those out and thank you to the people who use them and my final play is gonna be Nick Claxton over two and a half steals plus blocks I've taken this uh, almost every time he's played this year and he's gone over eight out of nine times this season and he's also gone over this mark in four straight against the Orlando Magic who will be on a back-to-back -back. the Magic actually take the most shots in the league from five feet and in and they give up the second most blocks to the center position and the second most steals to the center position and that's over the last two weeks so pretty much one of the best matchups Nick Claxton could possibly have uh, for getting the steals plus blocks mark and if you'd like to discuss lines further I have a discord the link is in the description there's conversation going on there there's still lines coming out 
um, even though it's later in the day. So hop on in there and it takes me a lot of time to dig up this information. If you do well with it and you feel like giving back, I have a cash app and Venmo in the description and you can donate back to the channel and thank you to the people who do that. And I also wanna say thank you to all the, the comments on the last video. You all were very encouraging and uh, supportive and I really appreciate that. It just uh, helps fire me up to keep me going and uh, to, to you know dig up this information. It really does take a lot of time to, to dig up and find uh, these plays um, even if they don't hit it's still statistically you know making the best play possible but of course crazy things can happen and uh, you know they don't pan out that way um, that's just the way things work so I'm gonna get this edited and get it out to you guys uh, God bless you all it's the final round my name is Jordan I will catch you on the next one bye